Leslie Dale in New York City at the top of One World Trade Center. We're standing in the observatory with John Urban, the vice president and manager here. He is going to give us a look, a beautiful look. So I'm teasing you right now, but let's stop, start talking about what we're looking at. We're okay. looking at every 360 degrees, every, this is the best view in the world. It's, it's the best view in the world, so 1,200 beautiful. feet. Right, all the way around, you got the harbor, you got the rivers, you got the skyline, you got Lady Liberty, everything. You could see 40, 50 miles um, in every direction, and it's spectacular. Okay, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? Right now we're looking south, okay? So we're on the 102nd floor of the tower. We're looking south to Ellis Island, Lady Liberty, beautiful New Jersey waterfront there. This is the Hudson River here leading out to New York Harbor, out past the Verrazano Bridge. Uh, folks might recognize that from the uh, iconic start of the New York Marathon every year with the thousands of runners starting to run from Staten Island across the bridge to Brooklyn. And as we swing around the floor here, we'll pick up the East River and the, the three famous bridges. You remember those BMW. BMW. Brooklyn, Manhattan, Williamsburg. Those are the three it. iconic New York bridges over the East River. Okay, and so for the Chattanoogans yep. watching this, yep. they may be thinking, where where are they? How can we come here if we go to New York? How long has this observatory, One World Trade Center, been in existence here, standing here? We opened a little more than a year ago. So we've been open 14, 15 months now, and we've welcomed over 3 million people to the top already. It is obviously the building itself, One World Trade Center, is a, as iconic and important a building as there is in the country um, and the opportunity to come to the top here and, and do the observatory experience not just the view but everything else that we've put into the experience with the films and the content and the immersion and our terrific staff who will tell you everything you need to know about the buildings and the sites that you're looking at and really make sure that you get maximum goosebumps that's the word we use a lot i hear that i get that goosebumps okay i want to show you more john we need to see more talk to you more so come on guys let's let's look at more it's so so beautiful up here so okay and serene too right i mean we it know is. what new york is like down at street level you come up here to the top of the world and things are slow down and they're so serene and so beautiful and then when you go back down to street level I think you feel like you know the city a little bit better because you've seen it from from this kind of vantage point so you're looking at the at the battery itself at the, the southern tip of Manhattan um, and you can see why that was such an important spot historically because the original fortress there that had the perfect look at the harbor and anybody that wanted to approach uh, the island from the harbor uh, wasn't going to wasn't going to get past uh, the battery there without somebody knowing about it. So, uh, strategically, always an historically important part of the city, and of course, Lady Liberty and Ellis Island and Governor's Island here to the left, and then as you swing around, you've got the the Brooklyn waterfront. So, this is the fastest growing part of town residentially, um, and it's now with the development not just of the 9/11 Museum and the Plaza, but all the new hotels. One World, all the retail and dining and all the great old neighborhoods that are down here. This is, um, this is a place where old New York meets brand new New York at the waterfront and offers things that no other part of the city really can. So it's, uh, it's an exciting time to be down here. And it's very exciting, as we're talking about, for people from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Absolutely. Have you heard of Chattanooga, Tennessee before? I, I absolutely have heard of Chattanooga, Tennessee. I love the fact that there's a direct flight now. Yes. So we, the, the welcome mat is out for everybody from Chattanooga who can get here now more quickly uh, than ever before. Um, so come and spend a few days, spend a weekend. Um, so much to do and uh, a quick flight up and back and uh, what a great trip. Yeah, we'd lo love to have you. All right, well it is quite, quite the view and there's, there's so much more to see. We're going to keep walking, keep showing you, and let's talk a little bit about the economic development as you were talking about. I'm interested in how many people come here mm -hmm. every day. Uh, a big day for us, uh, I'll give you an example. We just, uh, Labor Day weekend, um, we had 43,000 people visit us on Labor Day weekend. Whoa. So those five L, we open at nine o'clock uh, in the morning uh, every day, 365 days a year, and those five elevators, uh, the fastest in the Western Hemisphere, which is a great thing because it gets everybody up and down quickly and gets them to this view quickly. 
Um, the elevator's really cool too. The elevator's cool, we don't want to give that away, but yeah. you can find out a little bit more about that on our website, or I'm sure you'll probably share some, uh, share some video of your visit. Always, um, timesrepress.com, and we'll, we'll link information so yeah. you guys can check out all the information about this beautiful One World Trade Center and Observatory. I want to show, I mean, the view doesn't stop. So let's let's look at this over here too. It's, you could just walk around here all day. Yeah, and, and uh, it's kind of fun to do that because the, the you know Mother Nature gives us a different look and feel every day and every part of the day as the light changes and the clouds and sunset. When the city lights come up, it just glows for miles. It's incredible. Um, so yeah, you're looking down now at the Memorial Plaza. This is uh, the mirrored building is number four World Trade Center. This is number three World Trade Center, which is getting finished off. And this, uh, this next space over here will be number two. Obviously, it's standing at the top of number one. Um, down to the Memorial Plaza, out to the Battery. This is the, the financial district, Wall Street, etc. And, and more and more residential. Um, this is, uh, as I said, the fastest growing residential part of the city as well. So more and more folks moving down here. Um, and, and some of the really iconic older architecture that's been uh, restored back for residential living now is really exciting. And then you've got, uh, you know, towers like this one, the Frank Gehry building, which up until a couple years ago was the tallest residential building in the country. Um, and now there's a building on the Midtown skyline that has that, has that honor. Um, but yeah, a lot of building, a lot of growth. The new seaport uh, will be open next year. Um, and you just, again, you see how much the water just comes into play. It just, we're, you know, Manhattan is an island and, and no place do you feel that more than, uh, you know, with this kind of view. All the way out in the distance, you see that last peninsula, all the way out as far as you can see with the buildings, right? What looks like to be a sort of its own island out there. That's Coney Island. Oh, wow. And that's the boardwalk. You can see if you really squint, you can see the parachute drop right in the middle, that opening there. That's the parachute drop on the boardwalk. And beyond that is uh, is Sandy Hook, New Jersey, that little yeah. spit of land you can see, and then the Atlantic Ocean. So this is all Brooklyn. Uh, that we're looking at right now, sort of past the construction here on Three World Trade, that's downtown Brooklyn. Barclay Center and, and, and the great old architecture of downtown Brooklyn, of course the Brooklyn waterfront. And like I said, the famous, the famous three bridges here, of course. Brooklyn Bridge being one of the most iconic sites anywhere right. in New York. Everybody awesome. recognizes that. Awesome. Yep. Thank you so much for you giving, giving us, you know, folks from Chattanooga, Tennessee, <laughs> this beautiful, beautiful view. And as we were talking about, it's so cool that everyone in the world from wherever you're from could come here to and the do. center of the universe, the top of One World Trade yep. Center, and experience this. So thank you, and I hope you all take it in. Watch it over, and I'll see you back at TimesRepress.com. Thanks. Big welcome to Chattanooga. Chattanooga. See you guys soon. Yeah.